Look at this. Oh. Somebody double parked and blocked this in. Does anybody know whose car that is? Maybe there's a note on it. Oh, no, no note. Can you believe this? Well, of course, I noticed it, too, with those ample breasts and pouty lips. I don't have to tell you she was a knockout. I really cannot comprehend how stupid people can be sometimes. Can you comprehend it? No, no, I can't comprehend it. I mean, we could put a man on the moon, but we're still basically very stupid. The guy whose car this is, he could be one of the guys that built the rocket. You see what I'm saying? Well, yeah, yeah, he can build a rocket, but, but he's still stupid for double parking and blocking somebody in. So you yeah. really understand my point about building the rocket and double parking? Now, on the one hand, he's smart with rockets, and on the other hand, he's dumb with parking. <laughs> it's cold out here, huh? Maybe it's not even stupidity. Maybe it's just a blatant disregard for basic human decency. Yeah, this is how dictators start. <laughs> Think Mussolini would circle the block six times looking for a spot? How about eating a man, huh? I tell you, if I was running for office, I would ask for the death penalty for double pockets. If this is a lot to go on, this is not a society. This is anarchy! Are those shoes comfortable? No, not really. They look comfortable. I know, that's why I bought them, but they're not comfortable. <laughs> you know, that coat was Gore-Tex. It's worth a hell of a lot more than that cheap Chardonnay. Not freezing. I'm definitely freezing. I can't stop shaking. I'm cold, too. At least you got a coat. Let's get in the car. <laughs> Oh, my God, that's Saddam Hussein. The dictator. I told you. I wouldn't walk around without a coat in this weather. You'll catch your death of cold. So long.